Yo, welcome back to more March Comes In Like a Line, episode 40. So last time, Yanakihara versus Shimada. Great match, of course, but we also got a sense of who Yanagihara is, um, what, who he is, the, the hopes that he's carrying, how heavy this uh, burden is, but even burden's like the wrong word, because he's just, he's just so fired up, like literally, just at the very end, the whole, even in the burnt field, like, they explain with the, his friend talking about that burnt field and where he's at, right? Yanagihara at the end, you know, talks about how he can relate to what he's saying and he's also terrified of that. But in that burnt field, he becomes the, this human torch. And it's like, God damn, uh, yeah, it was such a cool line. And it's like, man, you, no wonder this guy is, after all this time, is still such an amazing A-rank player. He still keeps his head held high. He has this just this drive and now we we see why what these two experienced players carry and now that they're clashing on the shogi board it's like oh shit who's gonna win right so yeah i wouldn't be mad at whoever won this i'm still rooting for shimala but goddamn i gotta see how the rest of this plays out so i think that's really all i want to say for now i'm ready to just keep going so let's go beginning the episode in three two one i was wondering what that black spot at the top of the screen was. Even on the mic. Look at him. I'm not even mad at this. I got to see this line again. Such a good scene. God damn. This guy's a lord of cinder. Again today. So cool. So cool. That was worth a replay. Not even mad at that. So, I'm not entirely sure who I think is going to win here. I think, like, even with Shimada versus Soya, I thought Shimada could maybe pull an upset, but I still thought it was pretty unlikely, um, especially when it came down to, like, his last attempt. What that ended up being, and what that, the result of that, and the conclusion he came to about getting motivated again for the next year was great. And with even Ray versus Soya, even though he lost, it was like the result of that was like great because the way Ray reacted to it and how it felt was so unique and so indicative of his like growth. And it was that was even good. But just Shimada's hunger to get his first title here. It's like. I want to see my boy win, man. Part three. It's 
It's got him baffled. <laughs> he's trying to see where he's seeing. But everyone is so like, oh shit. God. Yeah. <laughs> He can't be this good. That's so funny. Oh my god. God. I love the fumes coming off him too, off of that human torch. Oh. Ray, do you see it? Come on, she mother. He is good, but so are you. Come on. There you go. Oh. Defended with the bishop he captured. Hmm. Nice. Good shit. Goto called it. That's how you fucking do it. That's how you do it. A Zelkova tree. Hmm. Damn, that kind of hit me. What would I have been? Oh my god. Dude's just the lone old human torch. <laughs> No, please, I loved it. My back hurts. Oh no. Now he's fighting, man. Jesus Christ. I love that vulnerable thought. <laughs> he's glaring at me. That was a very innocent, vulnerable moment. I like that a lot. Oh, man. It's like going through both their heads. They're both uncertain. That's tough, man. That's fucking tough. I, I feel for him saying that, even though I can't relate in any sense. It's just...
Oh. Eternal Kisho. You win it 10 times. They all flew off. Oh, oh. He's grabbing them back. <laughs> oh my God. He caught himself. He wavered, but he fucking caught himself. And they came back. <laughs> That's just so fucking cool, dude. Oh my god. Whew. Oh fuck. I'm sorry, Shimala. If you lose, I won't be surprised. Oh my god. Why is this guy so cool? <laughs> I want to cry, this is so beautiful. Too old. Wow. Wow. We'll see it together. <laughs> Fuck, dude. This is so bittersweet. I'm never going to see another anime as beautiful as this. It's not going to happen. Yeah, what happened? Hmm. <laughs> uh. Heavy red. Jesus, man. Even push this far, every move just. To have a match like this. He 
<laughs> you move the other pieces. Oh, how's this going to turn out, man? What? Hey, what? Wow. He conceded. Wow. Not even mad. Not even mad. How could I be? That was fucking awesome. Next time, she mother. You got plenty more at bats. <laughs> you burn another day, Yanagihara. You don't have to answer that terrifying question yet. <laughs> you fought hard, huh? Shimala gave you a hell of a match. He wasn't sure. He he wavered for a bit. He caught himself because that's what he that's what he had to do, but And he did it. No postmortem? Gone. Now it's time to celebrate. He did it. The eternal Kisho. Hey. I don't know, Boo, in the photo. Look at him. He's just happy to be there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that was like, oh. Hey, and Ray. Use the timer. And she, <laughs> look at she mother. Come on, buddy. Get on over here. <laughs> yeah, man, come on. <laughs> I just noticed. Oh, my God. That makes sense. He was. He was. I'm sorry, Shimada. Yeah. The old people's champ. <laughs> oh, she mother. All right, there's the sunshine. There's the smile. Okay. Chairman. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you just came to drink. 
Senile. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, that's fair enough then. Life is nothing but goodbyes. Oh, oh, my God. But I remember. The sashes are hope. It's another brilliant visual. So cool. I like that. I like that. Because they're so heavy, he can't run from what he needs to do. To keep him grounded. Nice. Now well, we're drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Talk your shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that yep. <laughs> Even he needs to vent sometimes, man. That's a lot. <laughs> If you face Shimada again, he'll be even stronger. <laughs> I'll die if I play a match like today's. <laughs> I'm almost 60. I honestly thought he was older. 60, huh? Oh, <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> Uh, okay, that makes more sense. I was like, 60? I thought you were way older, dude. That's funny. <laughs> These old coots. Man. That was fantastic, man. I can't even... God. That might be my favorite match in the series. I'd have to think about it. Shimala and Soya is a big contender. Shimala and Goto was very exciting too. I just realized all my favorite matches are with Shimala. I mean, obviously, Ray versus Soya is 
really great as well. I, I loved Ray versus Soya, so that's definitely a contender as well. But this, this one was special. God damn. More Kawamoto? Yes, more Kawamoto. Oh, finally got the plum syrup. Nice. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. I hope I'm that cool when I'm older, man. <laughs> I love how he ranted at the end there, just like, they sit on the sidelines and count on me so much. I do so much without being told, just <laughs> that flash of anger. Um, I love how real he was about how uh, much it is for him and just complaining about his back. And those little moments were great amidst like, of course, all the extremely cool moments of like, it's so heavy. You know, but here in this burnt field, I become a human torch once again today and just... Oh my god, and even when he wavered and they were all, all they were all flying away, right? And he was he was doubting because it was just the match was just so whew. um But then like taking that stomp of a step and just grabbing them back. Like I can't let go of these. Oh my god, that was just the range of emotions there and the, how it was the, how it was depicted visually in like in those internal moments and on the shogi board as well it was just on so many so cool on so many levels like and they didn't this show doesn't need like action or fights or anything it doesn't need that there's there's literally like there is no crutch to this show there's nothing cheap about any scene. Every scene is like so painstakingly crafted to evoke this emotion like every time. It's like every some episodes or so, I have to reiterate this, but I can't imagine another anime that is so caringly crafted and, and real and just, it's, I just... I wanted to almost cry this episode, like... Oh my god, it was... And there was nothing sad going on, it was just this... So just... But it was just that range of emotions from Yanagihara, and I, I, like... We've seen so much of Shimada before, so we never went into his perspective at all. We already, like, understand at this point, like, what drives him and, like, how... And we see... We've seen a couple scenes cut to him where he's like, you know, I... I want to win my first title. I mean, we see his hunger, right? He he wanted this. He wanted to get his first title. You still get the sense from Yanagihara's reaction just how much of a hell of a fight Shimada was putting up as well. You know, that he was pushed to such a point and then complaining about it. Like, if I play a match like that again, I'll die. <laughs> I almost died in the first match. Oh, but he presses on, man. He fucking presses on. And that last line um, that he said later, I think, with... Um, the chairman but i think at the very end of the the photo op i'm pretty sure he's like talking about like he, like first reflecting on the fact that i'll oh life is full of goodbyes it's nothing but goodbyes i'll i know i'll lose them from shogi and in life but these sash like all these people i've met all these experiences i've had all these sashes i carry all this weight i carry this that is hope and it's so heavy that it even keeps me from running away, becoming that human torch, doing what he needs to do, which is real as fuck, man. Because, you know, just being human, like, yeah, you do waver, you feel weak sometimes, but just being reminded of that weight and what it means and that duty, you know, that is what uh, allows him to press on. It was what forces him to press. There's no other choice, right? He has to. Yanagihara is such a such a good character, man. In just these past couple episodes, he is immediately elevated to one of my favorite characters in the show. Jesus Christ, man! I can't even like not mad at all about Yanagihara winning, <laughs> even like of Shimada's. You know, the three older men, three old men support. 
uh, who came to support him for this match. <laughs> it's like, I think there was a sign that said, like, Yanagi had a merch or something, or... They were clearly, like, super hyped about him winning, and Shimano's like, hey, you came to support me, didn't you? And then, um, but we see what Yanagi Hana means to, you know, that older generation of, uh, of Shogi players, and at, it, with his win, like, even motivating them to, like, want to start, like, a garden or grow a tree and just filling them with joy, that to the point where even though Shimano was just feeling how he felt, of course, he couldn't help but smile at just how, um, how happy they were, right? So, good on him for that. Shimada is gonna have many more attempts to uh, to be able to do better, to to get to win his first title. You know, he's gonna be back at the Lion King. He can go for the Kisho again, even though Yanagi is like, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> he's already got his eternal Kisho title, which I'm glad he did, you know? And he doesn't have to find the answer to that scary question yet um, about what will be left without you know, Shogi, right? If he if he is truly like forced to retire or let these things go, which he's he's not gonna let happen, of course, um, for as long as he possibly can, even as much of a pain, as much as he feels like he's gonna die from this being almost seventy, like geez, man, he must have been terrifying to play against, like when he was even Shimada's age, right? Or gosh, even younger. Um, he's no doubt gotten probably learned a lot of more and more things over the years, but. To, th to face a Yanagi Hara, like, without just in good health, right? And, it, like, in his prime prime, that that's a scary thought, man. You could argue he's in his prime now mentally just due to all his experience and his determination due to carrying all the weight at this point is, is so heavy and so steadfast that he burns even more brightly as a human torch, torch because of all that, but... I don't know, just a random thought I had. That's all I gotta say about this one. That was a amazing arc, and I, I look forward to whatever the rest of the second season is going to be about. We got, I think, four more episodes. If I'm not mistaken, I can take a glance here. Yeah, it looks like four more episodes. So, I, yeah, I look forward to what this is going to be and where it's going to end. And uh, I guess on the horizon. Please feel free to share any thoughts if you have any. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.